Okay, brilliant. So we're talking all about home learning today. So part one, how can we um, have homework in reading, spellings, times, tables, and some children have personalised homework as well that we're going to talk through. Part two, as I've already said, is how are Garrard, Garrard providing um, work for children? What are we providing if children have to isolate from home? So we're going to talk through Purple Mash and how you access those activities from home, continue to provide you with reading books for your children. Okay, so part one, we're going to go through. Give me one second, thank you. Okay, so if your child is in year one or year two, until they're off read writing, so we already have 11 children who are off read writing, which is absolutely fantastic in year two. But if your child is um, in key stage one at the very start, they have a book bag books that are regularly than that, depending on their level. So if they're on pink books or if they're on purple books or if they're on green books, they'll get more than one book that's sent home every week. But usually their book bags of books are changed every week. So we encourage the children to be reading independently or with an adult each evening. With that, they also have reading records. So making sure those are signed, making sure that you're giving um, children time to be able to read with you or with an adult or by themselves each evening. Reading aloud to a teddy bear sometimes works as well. So something we're introducing from parental feedback is reading for pleasure books. So Miss um, Deans Watson, who's going to be taking over for me when I go on maternity leave, she has been creating these wonderful book lists of reading for pleasure books all the way through from year one up to year six. So these reading for pleasure books, the one on the right hand side here are pictures of all of the year one books on that book list. And they are books that have been recommended by different kind of Twitter advocates, lots of people, lots of research has done of these are the children's books that the children are do this is children are going to have a little display in their classroom and they're going to be able to get, we were thinking bingo cards, but I kind of want some feedback from you at the end, what you think about that. It's not going to be something that the children are going to have to sign and prove that they've read them, but it's something to introduce more reading in the household alongside their reading books for AR for key stage one because parental feedback has been that actually their book bag books are linked to their reading age but sometimes children just want to sit and they want to read a fantastic story so we're going to give them the opportunity to do that um so at the end i'm going to ask for your opinion if you think bingo might work um, or it could be i don't know if they make a row so or make a full house then they can um it'd be different people across the key stage that would be really really exciting so that's all the way up um, from reading from year two upwards, we're on the accelerated reader program. So before half term, I did a parent meeting and I shared with you that we'd read just under, I think it was about 800 books. I'm now happy to say that we've read 1,240 books as an academy since we started accelerated reader and they're quizzes that have been passed as well. So children have taken a book home, they've understood it and they've come back and taken a quiz. So we've read over 11 million words, which is a really fantastic achievement so far, but we still have more to do. At the moment, we have only got um, 30 and it's yeah 37 percent of children have scored at least 85 percent on the quizzes in the last 30 days to help from home so we have set up this new system called ar home connect um, that i'll talk about in a second actually i'm talking about it first so something that i did in the holidays was i set up each child with a flower so this i actually can see layla's mum Lay this is layla's flower <laughs> so, and it's linked to the points target that they have been set due to their reading age and their star reader test that i talked to you about in the parent meeting before the holidays so for those of you who aren't here uh, weren't here all of the children have a um a reading age that has been given to them and their reading age helps them to choose books from our library which is where we're sat now and it gives them a target so i can see here on layla's that her target is probably around um thinking about four points something but she needs to reach the top of her flower she's on 20 percent, so she's doing really really well um, and their flower encourages the children to read at school. If they spend 15 to 20 minutes reading each evening, then hopefully they'll be able to fill their flower. So we're trying to encourage them to read from school, from home, um, we've set, set all the parents up on something called Home Connect. So this is something that we did the parent meeting on just before the holidays. And the first box here, here for total students shows the uptake. And at the moment, we don't have as many parents on Home Connect as what we would like. So we've got 45 parents in total out of 286. And from that, you can also set up your email and it would be really, really fantastic if we could get everybody with this, because it means that you can tell exactly how your children are doing from home. That would be really, really fantastic. So today I went into every classroom and plugged it and said, please, please, please get your parents to sign up to Home Connect. And um, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to share a different screen. Hopefully this will work. Fingers crossed. Sorry, I'm also admitting people into the waiting room. We have 73 participants. How good is that? Lots of people who are here today. Right, if I share my screen to this here, that looks like this. So you were sent home with a letter that indi indicated this email address at the top. So I know it's a little bit worsage that will go home with this link that you can just click on. When you get onto this, so this is our personalized email um, logon here with the number 225 at the top, 64, I think it says 28. 
that is our school logon and then home connect so this needs to be specific to us if it doesn't have this code it won't come up and i know some parents have said that they they haven't been able to access it from home and it's because of this code so when you get to this page the students will know what to do uh, with um it's first initial and then four of the surname and then the password so when you click login you'll get a screen that looks something like this so this is your child's um, kind of like their dashboard really and tells you how they've been getting on. It tells you what they've scored in their quizzes. So you can see she's doing, but 90% is perfect because that means they're not choosing a book that's too easy and not choosing a book that's too challenging. She's read 20% of her target, which was the um, flower that I showed you just before. It tells you her book level. So from this also you can view her bookshelf or your child's bookshelf. And it will tell you all the different books that they have read, which is fantastic. And also what I want to show you here is this section here that says email setup. If you click on this and you enter your email, it means that every time your child takes a test, you need to just fill it in that looks like this. Um, it means that you'll get an email to your email address and it will tell you how your child has done. Mum, our oh, dad, I got 100%. You can be like, oh, let's check together. Um, and that would be really, really fantastic. So if you are unsure about your logon or how to access that, please give primary reception here a ring. And what we'll do is we'll make sure that we can give you your logon again or give you this kind of the link so you can uh, um, access Home Connect from home. I've said all the students are challenged today. I've said I'm going to bring in an edible treat to the class that managed to, um, I'm going to stop sharing for a second, that managed to, the, the, the class the who, uptake. <laughs> that's the it, the biggest uptake. uptake. So at the moment, if I just click on the correct slide, we can see that one second um at the moment we've got year five in the lead so we've got 15 of the children have logged on or parents have logged on from home and we've got uh five children who and parents who set up with emails but i would really love everybody to because that would be absolutely fantastic and it means that then we're having that really clear communication from home to school um that would be really really fantastic so home connect just so you can remember the letter looks something like this um, obviously it would have your child's details on and where it says website three quarters of the way down that's what we are going to make sure that we text you tomorrow so you can just click on that link log on with your username and password it will be the first initial and then it will be four initials of um, four letters of their surname apart from if they're siblings it could have a one on the end but if you're unsure please ring reception everybody's password is the same the children will be able to tell you that okay lovely Okay, so the second piece of homework we sent home are the spelling journals, which hopefully you will have seen. They look something like this. So this is an example for year five. Um, and well, the way we help children learn their spellings in school is we teach it in conjunction with handwriting. So we might look at a specific join or a specific letter height with the children, and then they practice. A great way to help them at home is to use the look, cover, write, and check. The main thing the children need to be able to do is look at the patterns. They all have rules here. This is making plurals. So you can see that they are adding um, S or ES. Others, it could be a sound knowledge, especially in key stage one, they might be looking at ooh, as in poo at the zoo, and uh, look at a book and being able to make those differentiations between them. Um, so looking, covering, writing, check is a really great method. We also send them home with word searches so the children can practice their word searches. Another great way to look at the letters and what comes up next. Covering it is really, really important. So thinking, what is the tricky bit? So for example, here, formula, really tricky because we have the AE at the end that's silent. So helping the children to recognize that. We do do a lot of it in school, but that would be really, really helpful from home. And it's something that's coming up time and time and again. It's something we need to focus on as a school with their spellings. So that would be really, really helpful. Um, and you should all get this. Again, if your child has lost, no, it's difficult at the moment when we don't have that class teacher parent interaction. So give them a ring and Nicola on reception is a wonder. She'll get in contact with the class teacher and we'll make sure that you're sent home with another one um, and the booklets as well should last up till Christmas and then you'll get a new set as we move into the new year okay so times tables some of you may have already um, been linked up to times tables rock stars uh, for the first time today I'm quite embarrassed to say I've never been on it before but it's awesome it really really is fantastic so I'm going to show you again with my screen share how you can log on from home so I hope you will have received the letter already, um, but fingers crossed. I've got a couple of things in the chat before I move on. Is this meeting for year two and above? No, it's for year one as well. So Times Tables Rockstars is available for year one. The spelling homework is for year one as well, and the reading in year one I've already spoken about. Um, so for this is for all the way up. Purple Mash that we'll talk about from later is um, year one as well. So it is relevant from all the way from one to six. Not so much for reception, though, if you're a reception parent, unless you would like to be here. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen again so you can see what we would do for times tables rock stars okay so sorry i need to wait for zoom to disappear it has the bar across the top it's taking a long time okay wonderful right so if you just go into google um it will look something like this and you click on i just typed in times table rock stars and i click on it and it comes up with a screen that looks like this when you get to this screen you need to go into login and you go into school pupils and it will come up with a screen that looks like this 
Okay. Oh no, I'm already logged in. I already practiced this earlier, so I'm going to log out. Then you need to click log in and it will come up. So yours won't have the school. It will look like this. Um, with a G like this, you'll see all the Harris Academies. But as you could see just then, once you've typed it in once, it will come up automatically. So we need to check it's the password that we've given the children. So you click on password. Now the username and password was sent out before half term. But as with everything else, if you've lost it or it's been misplaced, then please let us know and we'll make sure we get another one to you. So I'm going to pretend to be a year six child now. <laughs> That's it, L-I-N. Um, and here's the password with something like this. So all of the teachers within the school have set times table practice. Now, because this is a year six child, we've got all the tables all the way up to 12 times. Year ones will have their twos, fives and tens. Year twos will have twos, threes, uh, fives and tens. And it kind of goes up in that pattern all the way through. Fives and sixes have all of them. Year four also will have all of them because of the multiplication check that will happen at the end of this year. So we're trying to get them more fluent in their times tables. So there are lots of things the children can do. So I was talked through this by a child today. The garage one is when you can practice specific times tables um oh I've been oh someone <laughs> I think Israel is right let me just click okay oh no <laughs> oh typical Israel and um, so across the top there it had lots of different things that you can do children can compete against each other they can have a challenge um I don't want to log in should I try and log in again and should I kick him out <laughs> oh my goodness that's typical HGA oh no no that's not HGA I've done the wrong one CPH sorry here we go. Right, so we can see here, studio is when the children can practice by themselves. Three days ago, he got this score, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, and it brings them up. So they want to try and get to rock hero. That's kind of the, the end goal for them. They can also compete against each other in the rock slam challenge. So you can choose, they all have different names. So this child, I think mine is something like um, punk rock something, God or something, but they can challenge. They don't know who they're challenging. So it's all completely anonymous, which is fantastic for the children because there's no competition or well, there is competition, but um, it's not, if they learning field so they can challenge a different child and see how well they do um a festival they can just have a go they can play lots of different festivals from around the world glastonbury and um, woodstock um and yeah just have a play with it get your children involved um and it's just really really great just to practice it's just another way for them to really get involved with their times tables and with time tables i'm afraid it's just rote learning there is we can't this is as exciting as we can make it i mean at school we've got counting sticks and we do number squares and we do lots of practice but at, yeah, at the end of the day, this we just got to get them practicing every single day. Um, so hopefully this will help. Um, right, so that's kind of a whistle stop tour of Times Table Rockstars. If you have any questions at the end, have a think now and I'll come back so to make sure we do have any question time if we need it. Right, I'm gonna log out of Israel so he can have a go. Okay, wonderful. And I'm gonna go back to my slide. Hopefully you can see my slides. Yes, fingers crossed. Okay, right, so um, Times Table Rockstars. Personalized homework. Um, so. I know I said in my last parent meeting, I have to go back. We're not having homework books. The reason for this, firstly, I thought we'd ordered them and then turns out we haven't ordered them. Um, so for now, we've got some personalized homework for the children who really, really need it. Handwriting homework is going to start to go home if it hasn't gone home already for the children who need to practice their joins and their fluency and their letter heights. Math homework is going to be more personalized rather than just being kind of random activities. It will be linked to the learning of the week and additional comprehension for children who are struggling to kind of understand or comprehend with certain things is going to be on a more individual and personalized basis. That might change in the future, but for now with COVID, we're trying to minimize the amount of things that are coming from and to school. Um, I managed to get through reading books. That was my one thing to push. So for now, we're moving towards this system, which I know might not be ideal. And I know you're used to having more kind of homework -y side of things, but definitely pushing reading for now, spellings, times tables, because if that happens with procedural fluency, that would be really, really fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to pause at this point because I can see I've got some questions in the chat before we move on to part two. So let's have a quick look at the chat. Okay, so it says, um, let me go through the questions. Oh, Crystal's mom who says he's logged out, Israel said, sorry, that's fine, don't worry. Okay, so my daughter has lost her times table rockstar login. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So the fact that you've told me that now, I can make sure that Shalom is sent home tomorrow. That's absolutely fine. If there's anybody else actually who would write, like to write in the chat that they've lost it, that's something that I can chase in the morning. I'll get onto Nicola and get that sent home for you. If that's helpful, um, that's absolutely fine. Or ringing reception and they can make sure they get you set up with another login because I understand paper does go missing, etc. We did try and find a way to get an email to you, but it would have to be individual and it would take literally forever. So fingers crossed we can get them all to you that we need. Okay, next bit. Um, and is any of their personal logins? So the personal logins have been sent home for everything that I'm speaking about. But again, if you've lost it, please do um, let reception know or let me know in the chat and then we can make sure it gets sent back to you. Um, how long per day do you recommend practicing on times tables, rock stars and purple mash? 
Yeah, Sir said about 20 minutes. I think anything between 10 and 20 minutes would just be so, so helpful. We don't want it to kind of become overloaded, but if we say, you know, 15 minutes of reading every day to 20 minutes and 15 to 20 minutes of times tables, and we want it to become something that the children want to do and like, oh yes, I'm going to go on the iPad and play um, times tables, rock stars, that would be fantastic. So we don't want to set a limit on it, but the more the better. How do we get the login to Home Connect? Um, Areeb's mum, Areeb, I will make sure that Miss Ayoade gets sent that home for you tomorrow for Home Connect. That's absolutely fine. He definitely does know his login though. I've been in his AR sessions. So we'll make sure um, that the Home Connect text gets sent to you tomorrow with that specific number that you can click on and then you can connect from Home Connect. Uh, Purple Mash, how do you get the other logons? Um, as I said, please ring at reception or put your name in the chat. Is it possible to request additional times tables as she's confident with two, five and 10? Yes, of course, if that's the case. Um, what year group, Susan, is your child in? Can you post it in the chat for me? Um, we can definitely make sure that we are signing in with additional, that would be really, really helpful. Uh, my son is year two and I've registered on AR. Okay, so some children are moving through the AR Sprite Inc program has moved on to AR already. So at the moment we have 12 children in year two and that's going to increase over time. So when the children get assessed by Mr. Butcher again at the end of this half term, then more children will be moving um, across, which will be really helpful. So they'll be moving on to AR. Um, so he might not have taken any quizzes yet, but he still has his book bag books. Okay, Charlie and Billy, that's fine, mum, I'll get them sorted for you. Any of these logons only have purple mash. That's fine. We'll make sure that they're sent out again. I think maybe we'll do another one. What do you reckon, sir? Oh, we can do. Yeah, another one sent home. That's fine. Another parent. Um, okay, why do you only do maths online? Um, so at the moment, a lot of what we're doing is online for home learning just because of COVID. Um, in the future, we might go back to homework books, but for now, the majority of our learning will be online just because of kind of the situation that we're in at the moment with paper coming. Um, that's a couple more. Yeah, definitely. We can get all this set up with logons. Absolutely fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going through. I'll just make sure that I write this list, which is great. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Um, if you've signed up, there's a parent here that's saying about signing up from Home Connect. You cannot quiz at home. And um, what we've done is we've set it so we can only quiz with bookshelf. So on the right hand side where it says bookshelf, you can click across. Higher times table set. Yes, of course. And um, we'll make sure that every, I think we're set everything or as much as we can for the children and you can kind of challenge them in that way. That's fantastic. Um, accelerated reader isn't working. If you make sure that it's the code that's across the top, that would be really helpful. Okay. Okay, right. So lots of other parents are saying about Home Connect. We'll make sure we get that sorted tomorrow. So now I'm going to pass on to Sir, and Sir's going to talk about what, who's that who's drawn on the screen? Little sneak. Um, what's happening for children if a child has to isolate? Good afternoon. Right. Um, so my name's Mr. Bass. I'm Year 6 teacher. For those of you who've not met me, hello to all of you. Um, so part two, what are Harris Garrard providing if a child has to isolate? So. If someone in the family has to isolate because of a positive COVID test, um, they'll be sent home for 14 days from the day of the symptoms that they started or side of the school has had any um, positive COVID testing. So that's fantastic. However, we get in ahead of ourselves. Hopefully we don't need more touch wood um, and we can work towards having things prepared for those children who have to self isolate because of family and other situations that arise. So when we do send home, uh, so when a child is self-isolating, we'll have two letters sent home. The first letter will be the school's uh, guidance on COVID and things that need to happen for you to keep safe at home, the children, and things to remind you to do in terms of testing. And the second letter will be the purple mash logins for you to access your Xcode and work that has been set by myself with guidance for the class teachers for the next half term. And this will get repeated every six weeks. So every six weeks will be a set of homework online for any children who have to self-isolate. Before I do show you that on purple mash, additionally to that, we will send home a work pack of um, activities, which will include some English, maths and science, which all is linked to the learning that they're covering either the next couple of weeks or with this side of heart, this side of Christmas, anything they've covered during that. It will be physical worksheets that they can write on and we're not expecting them to bring them back in. And it is again, all linked to this year group, their year group's learning. Additionally to that as well, trying to do as much as we can, we'll send home uh, one AR book um, via the post that they can read as well and continue to practice with their reading at home. Right, let me stop on the rock stars. So go That's back it. Share screen. And then when it goes, it goes up. Yeah. And I it's think, is it this one? Right. It's the third <laughs> one. It's fine, right one. And it's going to disappear. So. Here we go. Right, so I've logged on as a child. So when you go into it, again, Purple Mash, if you go to Google and just type in Purple Mash, it will come up with uh, the screen and you just type in your child's username and password. They have all been sent home already. So some children are accessing from home already, which is fantastic. Um, but again, on one of the letters that is sent home, um, we will have your child's log on for 
them to access the learning. Now, when you come onto your screen, you'll see your child's name uh, in the top corner here where I'm highlighting, and all the activities will be easily accessible under alerts. So if you click on the alerts, you can see the number there's 15. We've got a set of all of the activities which are highlighted and they all are stated as isolation tasks. So you know that these are the activities to be done during isolation. Now, I'm a year six child um, uh, section left their profile at the moment. All the activities sent home are currently mathematics will be rate, will be across the school relating to multiplications, um, addition, subtraction, and a little bit of fraction, which is what we're currently the grammar, punctuation, and spelling, which we could include tenses. Um, some year groups have got spelling, not all, additional spelling, not all. We're looking at commas, full stops, capital letters, some speech marks, any better commas. So that's the kind of activity we'll be sending home. We'll have one or two, depending on how many activities I could find and sort. It was um, science activities, which relates to what they're covering in science. So year six are doing light and so forth, all the other year groups, what they've got coming up. And then we've also got a history and a geography topic um, for years two to six, which relates to what they're doing in class. After half term, after Christmas, um, we'll continue running with this, this program and there'll be a brand new set of activities. What I will do is I will leave them up there as well on um, Purple Mash. So if you would like your child to do any extra homework after Christmas, um, please try not to use them if you are not on uh, ice, if the child is not isolating because we're specifically selecting them just for isolation. There is another way of getting into getting them if you go looking for them, but I'd rather you didn't take them because it took me an absolute lifetime to find all the activities and I wouldn't like to come doing it all again just before Christmas. Not touch them, that'd be fantastic. Um, but yes, you can have access to the rest of them before after Christmas because I will set a new set of homework. Um, if you can do the, all these activities on paper, you do not need to bring them in. If you'd like your child to do them online um, and you don't have access to Microsoft Word or something like that, you can do them within Purple Mash. If you search for tools and there will be two right. If you click on tools and two right, you can do everything on here. So if you enter your title, what you want, I'll just put um, light and create new. You can then choose Lane's work, you can save it in there, and then it will create a program for you to open up. It will create a program which you can, when it opens up, you can then start typing on here and type away whatever you want and do the work online. So you can save it within Purple Mash as well, which is really useful. But like I said, you don't have to, it can just be done straight onto paper. Um, and they can close and submit it to their teacher. Yeah, they can close and submit to the teacher as well, which would be really, you can have a quick look and see how well they're getting on at home, which is fantastic. Um, Again, if you've got any questions regarding Purple Mash, most of the information you'll need will be on the, one of the letters that is sent home. Um, but I think what we'll do is, as a lot of people are asking for passwords and information, I might have a blanket discussion with teachers just to make sure the children know how to log on um, in class um, over the next week. Um, just cancel that. I think that is it for me, Miss. Actually. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Um, so all the children should be really, really confident in logging into Purple Mash. We use it every single week for our computing work. Um, so fingers crossed they do know how to access Purple Mash, most definitely. And if they don't, as Sir has said, um, we can definitely get those logons sent home for anybody who needs it. Um, I'm just going to share my screen again. I think actually the last slide that we were going to speak about, if I just double check, is just asking to see if anyone has got any questions. Um, if I just go on to the next one. Yeah, so Purple Mash, and it was just any questions about that you have about anything that we have written um, or spoken about so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, back to the chat and I'm going to check if anyone else has any more questions from where we were before. Okay, so um, I was up to here before. Okay, so some more logons. Um, okay, so someone here has said they're not getting all the information due to the connection. This uh, video will be available on the website and we'll make sure that you can access that from home. So when you go onto the Harris Garrett website, there's a section under home learning. We'll put that in there and you can watch it again at your leisure at a later date. That's absolutely fine to do that. Thank you very much. Um, what about Google Classroom if a member of a family is isolating? So there are lots of vehicles that different schools have chosen to help with um, anybody who is isolating from home. What we have chosen is Purple Mash. So that's what we've chosen as an academy to work forward with. So as Sir has said, you've got your physical work pack, um, which is linked to the learning objectives across the year of the child um, in that year group, but the link, the activities due on Purple Mash, the reason why we've chosen it is because then uh, class teachers can see how the children are doing and how they're getting on. And it means that we can set bespoke activities linked to the children's learning. So there are lots of different um, methods, but we've chosen Purple Mash as an academy. 
okay, Christine in year two doesn't have a computer, how would she do the work? So this is why we're providing a physical work pack alongside Purple Mash. So if you can't access the computer, it's so difficult to do on a phone as well, then we've got that physical pack. And that's something then that you can bring in at the end if you'd like it marked and like it checked, or it's just something that you can work through every single day. So we're kind of trying to prepare for both eventualities. And there is no expectation. We really would like children to engage with this work if they could do an activity a day. But we also understand that you're going to be very busy at home, especially if all of your family is there. Some of you might be unwell as well. So we do understand that if it's not all done, we're not going to come at you and say, you haven't completed these activities. It's there to help you and support you and to give the children something to do if they need to. Um, do children only log on to Purple Mash if they're assigned tasks to do? So the plan in the pipeline is to move our homework virtually onto Purple Mash. I think that would be an absolutely fantastic thing if we can do that. But at the moment, everything that's on Purple Mash is for children who have been excoded. So children who somebody in their family has tested positive for COVID and therefore they're isolating for 14 days. So we'll make sure that work is set. Um, we have a rule, a two day rule here. So we're making sure that work is turned around as quickly as we can. So if you let us know on Monday, for example, the work will be with you by Wednesday to make sure that the children have something to do from home. Um, let me just scroll down. One second, thank you. Uh, okay, I think that might be everybody's questions for some reason. Oh no, um, it says here, Yep, some more logons for different things. I'll make sure I get my list done tonight to go through. Um, but I think I've got to the end of the questions, unless there is anybody else who has any more questions. Um, if you could put them into the chat for me, please. Lovely. Another parent who would like um, logons, that's absolutely fine. I will add you to the list. Nicola's going to hate me tomorrow when I give her this big list of things to send out to adults, but that's absolutely fine. Um, right, well, thank you so much to everybody for coming. Um, if you would like to stay behind and put any more questions in the chat, then I'm more than kind of happy for that to happen. Um, apart from that, I'm going to unmute everybody so you can all say goodbye to each other. Um, and then, yes, unmute everybody. Hopefully everyone is unmuted. One second. Uh, oh, no, I think you have to unmute yourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put it on. So if you would like to unmute yourself and say goodbye, then you are more than welcome to. Unmute. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye. 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 Okay, wonderful. That was lovely, everybody saying goodbye to each other. Please, if you have any more questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Else, thank you very much for coming and you'll feel more than free to log out. Thank you. Okay, any more questions? Hello, Tamani's parent. <laughs> oh, somebody was giving somebody else's log on on Purple Mash. That might be because you have a similar um, surname, perhaps. I will investigate that. Um, that's um that's a GDPR issue if you're logging into somebody else's account. Um, does that also mean you probably need your own logon as well? So I'll make sure that that comes to you. Um, thank you. Any more questions from anybody? No. Oh, it's so nice to see so many children. I can see Melusi. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, lovely. Okay, right. I'm going to end the the chat the um, call here then. Thank you so much for everybody to coming. Say goodbye, sir. Well, nice to meet you all. Um, and I'm going to get on that big list now of parents who need logons. So thank you so much for coming. <laughs>